Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use eDrawMind, a powerful mind mapping software designed to help you organize your ideas, plan projects and brainstorm effectively. The software is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Web, Android and iOS. I am going to show you on my Android tablet, so let's start. First of all, a big thank you to eDrawMind for sponsoring this video. So I will open eDrawMind and here is the interface. The first feature is about one click mind map. So you can see on left side we have this eDraw AI feature and inside we have this AI mind map option. So I will select it. Now here you can enter your topic. For example, I want to generate a mind map about Parkinson's disease. So I will write over here. Now you can see we have this option of start generating. So I will select it. Now AI will start generating a mind map for me. So here you can see. You can also customize each component in this mind map. For example, I want to change the theme for this mind map. I will select this star icon and then here you can see I can select any theme for this mind map. You can also change the layout. So here we have this layout option. So you can change the layout for your mind map. So you can see we have this fishbone diagram option. We also have other layout options available. You can also change the background. So here we have this background option. You can select any color and you can also add image as a background. So you can select any image for your background. The next feature is how you can expand your mind map. So for example, I want to expand my mind map. So I have to select a subtopic. For example, I will select this subtopic and here we have this eDraw AI feature. So I will select it and then here you can see I have this option of one click mind map so I will select it now AI will start expanding this mind map so here you can see now you can also edit it you can also customize it so for example I want to highlight something from here so I will select this highlighter tool and then I can use my pen and I can easily highlight anything in this mind map so here you can see you can also change the color for your highlighter as well the next feature is about converting your mind map into outline. So on top we have this outline icon. I will select it and now you can see the mind map is available in outline format. You can also edit it. You can also add any image. For example, I will select this image icon and from here you can select any image. For example, I like this image. I will select finish and then I will select compress and here you can see the image is available. Now if I go back to my mind map, the same image is available inside my mind map as well. You can also generate intelligent notes inside your mind map. You just have to select any topic. For example, I select this topic and then I will select eDraw AI and here you can see we have this option of intelligent note. So I will select it so the AI will start generating notes related to that topic and then you can select finish. So here you can see the note is attached to that topic. You can select this icon and here you have your notes. You can also edit it and then you can also use it inside your mind map. The next feature is about adding hyperlinks to your mind map. So for example, I want to add a hyperlink on this subtopic. So I will select it. Now here I have this plus icon. So I will select it. And then here you can see I have this hyperlink option. So I will select it. Then I will select this plus icon. And then here you can add any hyperlink. For example, I want to add this website. And then I will select finish. And then I will go back. So here you can see the hyperlink is attached to this subtopic. Now if I want to open it, I will just select it. And then I will tap it like this. And the website will open. The next feature is about AI drawing. So you just have to select this plus icon and then here you have to select AI draw and then here you can select any option. For example, I will select general and then here you have to describe the image you want to generate. So I will write here brain. Okay, and then I will select generate. So the AI will start generating a drawing for me. So here you see the AI draw this image. Now you can also use this image, select this apply option and this image will be applied to your mind map. And later if you want, you can also customize it. 
you can also export your mind map in different formats you just have to select this export icon and here you can see we have a lot of options available so you can export your mind map as a image as a pdf file as a powerpoint file and we have also other formats available you can also share your mind map you just have to select these three dots and here we have this share icon so you can select it then select mind map and then here we have this copy link option so you can copy this link and then you can share it with your friends and with your colleagues and then they can also participate in your mind map. The next feature is about templates. So if I go back from here and then I will select gallery. So here you can see we have ready-made customizable templates available and they are categorized into different sections. So if you select this arrow from here, you can see we have education and inside education, we have a lot of options available. So we have history, chemistry, medical, biology. For example, I will select medical and then here you can see we have different templates available related to medical you can select any template for example i will select this template and then i will select duplicate and now i can edit this template so here you can see i have different tools available over here now let's talk about other AI features. So I will select eDraw AI and here you can see we have a lot of AI options available. For example, I will select schedule and then you can use AI to generate a schedule for you. For example, I will write here daily planning and then I will select start generating. So the AI will start generating an outline for me. So here you can see it will start generating an outline and then you can also convert it into a mind map. So here if I scroll down you can see I will select create and then it will create a mind map from that schedule and now you can also customize it. The next feature is about AI posters. So if I go back from here, you can see we have this poster feature. I will select it and then I will select create poster. And then from here, I will select AI one click generation. Now here you have to enter your topic. For example, I want to generate a poster about time management tips. So I will write here time management tips and then I will select start generating. So the AI will start generating outlines and then it will generate a poster for me. You just have to wait for a few seconds. So here you can see the AI generate these amazing posters and now I can use them. I can also customize it. So for example, I will select this photo option and then from here I can select any photo. So for example, I like this photo, I will select it and now you can see this photo is added to my poster. You can also export it and you can also use it in your notes. You can also share it with your friends. You can also change the style for these posters. So select this style option and here you can see we have different style options available for example i select this style and now this style apply to that poster and here i have a new style of poster available so this will be really really amazing so eDraw Mind can help you turn your ideas into structured and impactful mind maps. So if you are ready to give eDraw Mind a try, check out link in the description below. So this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.